and, and again, I think it's almost like uh, like the Hall of Fame. I'm looking at their body of work, what he did when he played. And you got to look at what Kareem did. Kareem has led two teams to championships. He went and played with the Milwaukee Bucks. Obviously, he was Oscar Robertson and some other talented players back there. But he single-handedly carried that team to a championship that year. Then he comes to the Lakers. And the thing about Kareem, to me, that makes him the most dominating Laker player and probably the most dominating figure that's ever played this game in the NBA is that he had a shot that nobody could block. Nobody. Nobody could block the sky hook. It didn't matter if there was a double team, a triple team. I, I have seen that myself, saw it. Houston Rockets, Elijah Wan, Ralph Sampson, and Robert Reed were all, when we threw the ball in the crowd, all of them was around Kareem. Kareem put the sky hook on them. Celtics, Robert Parrish, uh, McHale, and Dennis Johnson dropping into his lap. Danny Ainge, Larry Burke, he still sky hooked them into oblivion. And I hate the Celtics, so I'm glad. That's why I use that word, oblivion. <laughs> well, he, if you doubled or triple team Kobe, he had to pass. He had to. I mean, he could force up a shot, a fall away, but it would be a, a forced shot, a, a shot that probably he makes more than he misses. But I'm going to take my chances on that. With Kareem, all you could do was force him out a little bit further. And I think the greatest shot I've ever saw Kareem hit was in 1987, no, 85, in the Boston Garden on the, on the uh, right side of the key, close to the Boston's bench. Shot clock was running down. Parrish had pushed Kareem. No, McHale was on him. McHale had pushed Kareem out to about 16, 17 feet, man. Kareem took that ball, man, and wound baseline going toward the backboard. And he sky hooked that shot, man. And it went in like somebody's jumper. That, to me, is unstoppable. You, it didn't matter what side of the floor he was on. And another thing that makes Kareem great to me is that people don't realize Kareem was a good ball handler. When he was younger, when he played with the butt, there was times he'd grab a rebound or block somebody's shot, wouldn't block it. He'd grab it out of the air, take it down the whole way to the floor, and would dunk it or pass it off. Cream could do it all, but the thing he understood was his, his value to our team, which was down the low post. He made other players better. I just want to vent a little bit. Why doesn't anybody ever say that Kareem is the greatest, is the greatest of all time? If you look at his numbers, Coop, he's been dominating since junior high school. Yeah. But Jim, I say that all the time. People yeah. ask me, who's the GOAT? Who's this? If you had a uh, if you had any player in this league that you could start a championship team or NBA team, who would it be? I always say Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Because yes. you couldn't double team him. Nope. Because you did, he was a great passer. Kareem, people don't realize, could handle the basketball. And last yes, but could. not least, to me, a GOAT is if you foul him and we down one with three seconds and him to make two shots, Cream going to make both of them, man. Yeah. I never saw him miss a big shot. Yep. I never saw him miss a free throw that we needed. No, even if we didn't need it, he made his free throws. Yep. Highly competitive. Highly competitive. And right here. Yeah, for sure.